eastern span of the Tappan Zee Bridge is on its last legs. This steel hulk adjacent to the new Mario Cuomo Bridge is coming down with explosives Tuesday morning. Starting at 10 a.m. for at least an hour, state police will not allow traffic between exits 9 and 11 on the thruway. Officers will close entrance ramps on both sides of the bridge. Police in Tarrytown and Nyack will have extra officers on hand to direct local traffic. They're also warning drivers to find alternate routes. I have to get to work tomorrow, so I'm a little concerned about the traffic. Route 59 will probably definitely be gridlocked tomorrow. I just was surprised because it's like a work day. A lot of people travel, especially because like the chef here at the Greek Kitchen travels from Astoria. Tappan Zee constructors postponed the demolition from this past Saturday due to high winds. Restaurants with a prime view in the village of Piermont had to refund some 1,000 seats people paid for to see the blast. Tomorrow, most of those potential visitors will be at work. And it was great for our town who struggled with, you know, some of the events of building and whatever. So why Tuesday? A spokesperson from the Thruway Authority says traffic Tuesday at 10 is typically lighter than the rest of the week. Stats show the volume would be higher on the upcoming Martin Luther King holiday weekend. Organizers say another factor is snow in the forecast and equipment already in place for the demolition. Officials tell me to expect the bridge to explode sometime between 10:15 and 10:30. While it will only last for a few seconds, it'll sound like a bunch of fireworks going off. Laura Strauss of Piermont Strauss says she sold around 1,000 posters of the former bridge in the last few months. Someone even took the last large-scale one right off the display wall. As the old bridge comes down, we saw more and more people coming in saying, you know, how can I take home a piece of this? And Tuesday, the sun will set on a new perspective. In Piermont, New York, Lisa Rosner, CBS2 News.